everyone. Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics coming to you from 14,000 feet. Wanted to go over uh, some of the menu items in the uh, EFD-1000 Pro and go through that so that you can see what uh, what different options are underneath the menu. So uh, remember, menu is your friend. So we can we hit menu and it's going to give us the options, uh, what I can do here and change and set up. Uh, and, and look at the bottom, you've got all these blocks, those are pages, and we can cycle through the pages by turning the right hand knob, and we can go through all the different available uh, settings and options. Like for instance, if I want to turn my auto course on or off, I can do that, I would just leave auto course on, don't mess with that. Uh, the art mode, if you want HSI or CDI, so what that means is if I turn it to CDI, turn menu back off, and I go to the arc mode, now I've got my CDI down here instead of the full HSI. I'll show you the difference. So we go back in, change that back to HSI, see the difference. There's just a couple of, uh, you get the idea of what what the menu, menu key does. So I can go in here, I change, let's say, OAT, to Celsius or Fahrenheit, and that's going to change that right there in your air data computer bar. Same way with the barrow, if you want millibars or inches. Auto range, you want to turn that on or off. AOA, we can turn that on. Notice if you, and that's angle of attack. We can turn that on or off. Now you do, that is an unlock and that is an option that you have to pay for. Uh, but if you have it, it's, you can turn it on or off or auto. And auto means once uh, you get in the envelope of the uh, of the AOA scale, it's going to come alive. Okay. Just going through the pages here. Uh, Declutter level. So what does that mean? Is zero, one, two, three, four. Notice how many. Uh, as you increase the number, the information here or items on the HSI increase. And I want to zoom out a little bit just so you can see. So as I go through that, if I go to zero, it basically declutters everything. One is your flight plan. Two is airports and flight plan three, is airports and flight plan, and BORs, and then four is just everything's on, and then zero starts over. And I'm just activating that by pushing the soft key, and I can roll through the options there. I like to leave mine on one, because I want, I want to know what's in my flight. I like my flight plan overlaid on that. I don't like getting it too cluttered up. That's my personal uh, preference. You can come down here, and all of these things you can you can turn them off or turn them on um, to auto or off, and you can go through those yourself with your uh, Aspen Pro. Now we're going to go and the same thing here for the Arc. It's a setup for the, in the Arc mode, so you can set up uh, 360 one way and set up the Arc mode another way. Going to keep on going. Here's your V speeds. We can turn V speeds on or off, and notice how that. To bring them up on the airspeed. Hey, we can go in here and change our V speeds. For zero Charlie Kilo, contact Houston Center 126.8. DX, VY, LO. Just going through the options here. We can look at uh, like our weather legend. If you have XM coming in with your uh, next rad, keep on going. The second page uh, to the end gives you where you can bring up. Uh, you know, you can do the restart. Uh, restart the unit. You can look at your uh, power. What's the external power right now? We're at 27.7 volts, and the battery's charging. Over one more, it's going to give you the uh, software version, in this case it's 2.9, and the serial number of the unit. So that is a brief overview of the uh, menu, and 
If you have uh, any further questions about that, visit our website. Uh, give us a call. Again, Scott Smith of Aspen Avionics. Thanks for joining us today.